This tutorial is part of our full stack React Django DRF channels project, DJ Chat. You can watch this tutorial and many more from our YouTube course playlist, or the whole course, including access to additional resources from our Udemy course. The Udemy course link, which provides the best price for the course, is in the video description. As I alluded to in the previous tutorial, we utilize, or we are now utilizing Pillow, which is an image library, which provides a number of different tools to help us manipulate, make changes, and perform other tasks related to image management. And what we're going to do now is build some validation checks to ensure that the images that are, are uploaded to our system meet certain specifications. Okay, so we're going to create a validator, which is going to validate the size and extension. So we're going to check to make sure the image size meets the requirements that we specify, and the fact that the image that is uploaded is the right type of image. So we don't want anyone just to be able to upload any type of file. We want to make sure that we limit the ability to upload only image files. So let's go ahead now and create a new file here. So we could add the validator directly in the model, or at least in the model. But what we're going to do is, because they're quite substantial, we'll go ahead and create a new file. So inside the server folder, we'll create a new file here called validator or validators.py. So first up then, let's create a new validator for validating um, the icon, validate the icon image size. Okay, so what we're gonna need here, we're gonna need the image. So we're gonna need to pass in the image that's uploaded in order to validate it. So we're gonna say if image um, with with image dot open, uh, let's go ahead and pass in the image as IMG. Okay, and then we're going to say if the image width uh, is more than seventy pixels, or image dot height um, is more than seventy pixels, you can change that, of course. Then we're going to raise an error. So we're going to raise a valid validation error uh, validation error and then we can just specify the error that we want to raise um, so let's just say the max the maximum size or allowed dimensions for the image are 70 by 70 there we go and then we can say, for example, because we can grab the size of the image, so we can say size of image you uploaded, and then we can specify that. So that's going to be image dot size. So we can access that. There we go. Simply put, whenever we create a new instance of, for example, in this case, uh, the channel, then we may add an image, sorry, a banner or an icon. So at the moment, we're just talking about the icon here. So if an icon is added, then basically what we're going to do is be able to check, uh, be able to determine whether the image has, has been uploaded or not. So if image, if an image has been uploaded, then we're going to continue. So here, image from Pill, from Pillow, we import image. So this is where Pillow takes over and we pass in the image over to Pillow and that then allows us to do things like, for example, check the width and the height. So what we've done here is we passed our image across to Pillow and then we've identified or we're checking to make sure that the image isn't greater, isn't bigger than 70 by 70 pixels. If it is, then we're going to raise the validation error. So from Django.core.exceptions, let's go ahead and import the validation error. There we go. So now we can apply this onto our model really easy. Just drop that back. Uh, so we just need to look for the the field where we want to place it, we can add it here at the end. So we just specify validators equals, and then of course we're going to need our validators. Uh, we're going to have one more than one. So this is going to be called, oh, actually let's just bring it in first. We're going to need to import it in. So from dot validators, so let's import, I can't what it's called, 
uh, validate icon image size. So let's go back down. So now we can just add that in. Validate icon image size. So there we go. So that's our validator now applied to that field. So we're going to create a second validator. Now, the other reason to use a validator file here is because you can use it on multiple um, projects. So this is a, a file that you can save or just the code, maybe make some sort of gist or something, and you can then just copy and paste this in and use it anywhere you want to perform these type of actions on any of your projects. So let's go ahead now and create a second one. So this is going to validate the image file extension. Okay, so pass in value. Okay, and so, right. Um, let's say ext, zoom in a bit, um, ext equals os.path.split. And then let's get value name. Uh, value dot name and then one okay so this may be a little bit confusing but let's remember one thing here apologies I didn't explain it as we type it but let's remember this is going to be attached to a field right so whatever we type into that field whatever we use in that field um, so in this case remember what's going to happen is that we're going to upload an image say an icon here and what's going to be saved in the database is not the actual icon. Remember, the icon saved in a folder is the actual path to that icon, as well as the actual name of the file and the extension of it. So what's happening here in this line is that we are uploading the file. And what we're doing here is we're using this split function, OS path uh, split function here which splits the names into a tuple okay so that includes the base file name and the extension so the actual name of the image is going to be split into two components the first component is the name of the image the second component would then be the extension so what we're doing here is we're just grabbing the extension so there are two components in this tuple if we wanted the name of the image we would do that. If we wanted the extension, we'd then use one, the, the second element in that tuple. So with that now in place, we've now grabbed the extension of the image that's being uploaded or the file that's being uploaded. So now what we need to do is specify valid, uh, valid extensions. Okay, so let's specify some valid extensions and that's going to be for example dot jpeg so we just need to specify what what we would prefer the user to upload or well, the file extensions that we would like to support in our system right so um, maybe there's two types of jpeg and then we can go ahead go ahead and specify maybe a png and so on so we just grab the a gif maybe there we go so those are the valid file extensions that we're going to allow in our system and now we need to do a simple check of course it's to check the file extension of the file that's being uploaded against the valid file extensions so let's give this a go if um, not extension dot lower so we just want to make sure that um, the file extension is in the right case to match it against one of our file extensions that are valid. So lower, and then in valid extensions. So if the extension here that's been identified is not in the valid extensions, then obviously we don't want them to be able to down upload that file. So we're gonna raise a validation error. And we're just going to say something like un uh, unsupported uh, file extension and then we could also then tell them what file extensions are available if we want to okay so to finish this off we are going to need OS so let's uh, just import import OS 
If you're not familiar with OS, it is um, it stands for Operating System. So this is a Python module, a built-in uh, Python module, which allows us to interact with the operating system. In this case, you can see we're interacting with the folder file path system of the operating system, OS Path. Let's go ahead and apply that now into our model. So we need to import that in. So from our validators, let's bring in the validate image file extension. And now we can go ahead and apply that where it's needed. So we do need it in the icon here. That's what we're going to include it. And then in addition to that, I'm just going to make sure that the banner utilizes that validator too. We don't want it to use the first validator, of course. Um, so we definitely don't want the banner to use the validation icon image size. So we could create a new validator for the banner if we wanted to specify the size of that. Of course we could. But there we go. So there's some examples of creating some validations for our image. Now we might want to add some more. So for example, the banner, like I said, we might want to add a validator to make sure it is a certain size or um, height. We might want to include some sort of function to resize an image maybe. So for example, we could potentially allow users to upload bigger icons and then we could have some functionality for them to scale and scale it down or potentially we could automatically scale it down to a certain size. Hopefully that represents a good starting point for you to think about managing images that are uploaded as well as giving you an idea of how to start to develop that type of functionality.